Kevin's been gone 26 years and he was 25, so he's been gone longer than he was here with us. A Dilworth family has been relying on hope to get through the disappearance of a loved one. For nearly three decades, Kevin Mahoney's sisters have been searching for information as to his whereabouts. Valley News Team's Joshua Pugero spoke with one of the sisters who says there's no closure until he's found. Every year on October 2nd, Kevin Mahoney's family stands here at University Drive and 12th Avenue in North Fargo. We just miss him a lot. We just want some closure for the family. They're holding up signs asking for the public's help in finding him. The Dilworth man went missing in 1993 at the age of 25 after leaving a house a few blocks from here. We feel he is no longer with us, but we still want to find him and, you know, put him to rest. Some people stopped to read the sign like this NDSU student. 26 years today. Uh, her dedication to her brother is, is amazing. It's hopefully she can find something about it. Hopefully she can find him. His sister finds it encouraging. It does help because we know people are, there's positive people out there that are rooting for us to get some answers. She says time is of the essence. His disappearance devastated the family, including his mom. She passed away quite a few, about six years now. And I just promised her I would never give up looking for him. She wanted me to keep looking, so. The Fargo Police Department tells me this is a very tough case to deal with. Just as Michelle wants her brother to be found, they also want Kevin Mahoney to be found to give the family some closure. In 2017, we reported that Fargo Police received new information on his case and gave it another look. Police say they never stopped working on cold cases such as missing persons. His family is committed to being on the street corner as long as it takes to find Kevin Mahoney. In Fargo, Joshua Piguero, Valley News Live. And if you have any information regarding this case, please contact Fargo Police. The phone number is right there on the board.